Hi, welcome to the Children's Chapel at St. Peter's Lutheran. I'm Pastor Leslie. You know, when my daughters were seven and nine years old, one of their favorite poems was titled, If I Were in Charge of the World. And it was written by Judith Viorst. I wonder what she'll think of it. It goes like this. If I were in charge of the world, I'd cancel oatmeal, Monday mornings, allergy shots, and also Sarah Steinberg. If I were in charge of the world, there'd be brighter night lights and healthier hamsters. Basketball baskets, 48 inches lower. If I were in charge of the world, you wouldn't have lonely, you wouldn't have clean, you wouldn't have bedtimes, or don't punch your sister. You wouldn't have sisters at all. If I were in charge of the world, a hot chocolate sundae with whipped cream and nuts would be a vegetable. Huh. And a person, and all 007 movies would be G. And a person who sometimes forgot to brush and sometimes forgot to flush would still be allowed to be in charge of the world. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you like that poem? I like it a lot. It's filled with really honest thoughts because frankly, there are things about the way things are that we just don't like. Bee stings, a broken arm, bad dreams in the middle of the night, people who are just plain mean. Maybe you can talk with your family about things that happen to you or things that happen in our world that you don't like. What else is this poem about? It gets us thinking about the good things things that we really enjoy, like chocolate sundaes and fun movies. I like blue skies and summertime and catching fireflies at night and campfires and s'mores. What do you like? Another reason I like this poem is that its writer seems to be wondering why it is that bad things happen and how as hard as we try to do what's right, sometimes our forgetfulness or our lack of attention messes things up. We don't mean to spill our glass of milk all over the table. We didn't realize till afterward that what we did or we didn't do really hurt our mom's feelings. We thought we'd studied our math facts or our spelling words like crazy, and we didn't realize till the test came back that we'd forgot some. Can we get some forgiveness, we wonder? Did you know that there's a book in the Bible filled with poems? Listen to this one, number 103 in the book of Psalms. I will praise the Lord Deep down inside me, I will praise him. He forgives all my sins. He heals my sicknesses. He satisfies me with the good things I long for. The Lord is tender and kind. He's slow to get angry. He's full of love. He's removed our sins from us as far as the east is from the West. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Well, praying is our way of talking to God, and God loves hearing all your thoughts. So when you go to bed at night, when you pray, you can do three things. You can tell God about all the things you don't like. God will listen to you. You can ask God's help to cope with these things, and God will help you. And then when you mess up, tell God 
about this too. And ask God to forgive you and give you a new beginning. And finally, finish your prayer by telling God all the good things you enjoyed about your day. We call that praise. What a good way to fall asleep at night. Well, let's pray right now. Thank you, God, for the gift of feelings and the words to describe them. And thank you for forgiving us and helping us and loving us. We love the world you created and all the good things in it. And we love you, Lord. Amen.